All right, I'm hoping I've got my mic working this time. I've recorded this like two or three times now. Uh, so this is the uh, demo for, this is where our um, OIDC branch exists. Um, I can sign in here. It's gonna give me a, um, a domain here that we basically are saying, please enter an email address with that domain, um, but you don't need to, you can override uh, that. But you could, you could set that in the config uh, for your own domain. Um, go through this, sign in. So th at this point, what is happening is um, we're, there's an exchange back and forth between the identity provider and open boxes. Uh, claims are exchanged. I have essentially provided the identity provider with enough information to log in. And now it's sending a uh, JWT or JOD, whatever you want to call it, uh, back to the callbacks uh what is it, the callback instance on here um, in open boxes and oops, uh, is providing um, information that that, um, what do we call that, uh, information that the, the that open boxes is expecting to see, things like email, um, email and things like that. So I don't know if I'm actually spitting that out. Here's the JWS object. So you can see given name in here uh, hopefully there's nothing. Uh, email verified. I can't find it, but the, there's an email uh, claim in here as well that gets provided. So this, oh yeah, there's, it's right next to this one. So that is what I'm using to basically create the user. Um, that's a username and email. And then I'm using the name for the name fields. And so if there's no user that exists, um, Google has said, okay, this user is cool with us. Um, so, you know, uh, you could potentially do something around, uh, roles or, or, you know, add some, um, add scope or something like that, that that'll tell you whether what, or what roles the, the user should have, but that's outside of the scope of this. This is just to authenticate, um, that the way I'm handling it is roles are added, um, by an administrator on open boxes once the user has connected the first time. So this is just for the authentication part. Authorization uh, will, you know, be something that we we tack on later on. Um, anyway, uh, so this that process essentially says this person's authenticated. They can do whatever they want, or at least they could do they can log in, um, and from there. Uh, whether or not they have access to certain things is based on the roles in open boxes. So we say, I want to go into main warehouse. I've already configured this particular user for, uh, as a super user. So if I come here, I can see, um, this user's roles. And I've added this myself, uh, as a user, if you don't have that, if the user tries to log in, doesn't have any roles, the system will say, sorry, you don't have uh, enough uh, privilege to, um, or you don't have the permissions to, to log in or see anything, go talk to administrator. So, uh, that workflow needs to be, uh, dealt with a little bit more because I think we can do, um, some, at least some default things, uh, using the, uh, scope. I guess, or the grants, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, anyway, we can discuss that. Um, but that should get you started. Um, I can show you some config here. Uh, so these are the three that I've been working with uh, the most. Um, I have Google was the easiest to, to get. You can see here's the callback that we're specifying. So this is what I've set up in Google and then what I've used in, um, I think you have to pass it as well from the app when you're doing the authentication and the, those two, the URL on the on the server side, on the, sorry, the Google identity provider side and this URL need to match. Um, but uh, in order for, uh, for Google to pass back that, that the, the data in that callback. Um, I have not been able to get Microsoft working because it seems like there's a bug with this scope um, where I'm passing in the email uh, claim or asking for a, a, an email claim and it's not passing it back. So I haven't tested it out in a while, uh, but I, I'll get back to that at some point. Um, it, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look uh, the same as this here. 
um, here. It doesn't include this email claim. So uh, that is frustrating. I don't know why it's doing it, but um, it worked for a week and then it just stopped working. So I assumed it was a bug on Microsoft side and I decided not to uh, pursue it um, because I didn't need it. Uh, but we can talk about that and let's go back here. And then Amazon, I, I don't think I spent much time on, um, but it shouldn't be hard getting that to work either. And I think that's it. Um, so let me know how things go with that. Um, use that branch for now, because um, that's where that's uh, we won't merge that until it's all, all working nicely. And that's it. Thanks.